Well, then, uh, you've been in the field for quite some while now, and you have had quite a lot of success with it as well, yeah, just, like you, just like you said. But first things first, uh, back in the day, what brought you to the world of chemical engineering? Yeah, since my school days, I was more inclined to the chemistry side, uh, uh, like mixing of the uh, compounds during the school level labs and performing all the experiment at the college level. It was first of the motivation uh, which inclined me to the chemical engineering side. Uh, at uh, at the start of the degree or uh, choosing between that type of engineering uh, for a university degree, I had not not that really sound knowledge of chemical engineering that what is the real chemical engineering. But yes, uh, I, I chose it on the basis of chemi uh, chemistry that my interest was in chemistry side and then it led me to the, uh, to the selection of uh, chemical engineering. Uh, but when I realized uh, by reaching a university class that chemical engineering is uh, quite a bit different from the general chemistry, uh, which is a, a normal concept of many people that chemistry and chemical engineering are almost the same field, but it's not true in most of the cases. Exactly. Uh, but uh, to follow up on that, because now since you said that you came in because of chemistry and you found it to be very different uh, to what you had hoped for, but now, if you were, if I was to ask you to define chemical engineering, how would you define that in very simple terms to someone that might know not know anything about chemical engineering? Yeah, chemical engineering is quite very simple. A simple thing is uh, like as you can see, uh, I can define it that material processing, transformation of materials for the manufacturing mm -hmm. of new chemicals. Uh, uh, it is not relying only on the manufacturing of new chemicals. It can be defined on the basis that a transformation of a material a particular element or a compound into a new product for the betterment of human uh, either it can be for the purpose of commercial businesses as well as for industrial developments so yes chemical engineering is the material uh, in uh, it involves the material transfer we, uh, which really we can say that mass transfer in chemical engineering as a subject and uh, uh, as differentiating between the chemistry and chemical engineering is that chemistry is quite a research based uh, uh, subject or, or domain of study while the chemical engineering is the practical application of the chemical concepts uh, that are applied for the manufacturing of new chemical compounds uh, either for industry or for household or for domestic purposes mm -hmm. amazing uh, very nicely put uh, thank you so very much for that so, so they are kind of fundamentally linked the chemistry part that is just the Theoretical part, chemical engineering is the practical part yeah. of, of the same. The practical application. Same mm -hmm. Perfect. Well, thank you so very much for sharing that. Thank you. Thank you for listening. And if you have not done so already, remember to become a free member at Chemical Engineering Life. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more upcoming podcasts with chemical engineers. Thank you and have a great day.